This time of year typically isn't boiling over with audio news, but that doesn't mean that nothing's happened. Phone company Nextbit has a new pair of headphones, kind of, and Google has a new wireless speaker, kind of. This is Sound Guys Monthly. How's it going, everyone? I'm Adam Molina, and this is Sound Guys Monthly, the show where we take a look back at some of the coolest things that happened this past month in the world of audio, as well as some of the things that are going to happen. If you missed anything, here's a quick roundup. Until we have a truly great pair of wireless earbuds, companies are going to keep trying to make them. And this time, we're hoping that the Apollo 7 earbuds are really as good as they seem. We've already seen companies like Braggy and Aaron try to capture the wireless earbud market, but neither has really taken off. Now a new company by the name of Arado Audio Technology is trying to give it another go with a pair of earbuds called the Apollo 7s. They have a lot going for them, having Bluetooth 4.1 with aptX, a 3 hour battery life with a charging case for that extra boost, and even some pretty good first impressions from people who have already heard them. Still, at $299, I would hope they work nicely. As of right now, the campaign is completely funded and backers can expect to get their pair this month, June of 2016. Your average phone company usually doesn't spend too much time thinking about audio. But Nextbit isn't your average phone company. Nextbit has been making waves in the phone industry because of their new phone, the Nextbit Robin. In simplest terms, the phone uses cloud storage so that the user will basically never run out of memory. But what interests us at SoundGuys are the cool pair of headphones that popped up on their website. Nextbit partnered with III to make a custom pair of TMA2 headphones. These headphones are modular, so they handpicked the pieces that went into it, and they made the cable the same shade of turquoise blue as their phone. Pretty clever. Pretty much every company now has a wireless speaker. So how does one stand out? Well, the Nepsu Triangle aims to blend in. The Nepsu Triangle is a new wireless speaker that lets you swap out parts of the speakers to change the color and match your home decor. The front plate is magnetic, so you can easily pop it off and stick a new one on. Even the power supply can be customized, and with a few clever wall decals, you can make the speaker a part of your decor instead of just a gadget. The campaign is about 73% funded at the time of this post, so if it seems like something you'd be interested in, you still have 19 days to go back to project on Indiegogo. Google is probably best known for their services, but every now and then they've been known to dabble in hardware. And this past month at Google I.O., they announced their highly anticipated wireless speaker? Okay, so it's a bit more than a speaker. In response to the Amazon Echo, Google has announced Google Home, a speaker with their new and improved virtual assistant already baked in. It's like having Google Now in your speaker. Someday soon, they expect you'll be able to stream things to your TV and control parts of your house simply by talking with it and telling it to do something. No word yet on pricing, but Google says it'll be available sometime later this year. Can't wait to try it out. Ultimate Ears just announced the UE Roll 2, and it's a huge upgrade. The UE Roll 360 was a pretty unique device, and plenty of people seem to love it. Throw in the fact that it's waterproof and less than $100, and it's no wonder why it did so well. Now they've announced the UE Roll 2, and besides adding a 2 to the name, that's pretty much all that's different about it. It now has a claimed range of 100 feet instead of 65, and is supposed to be 15% louder. But everything else about the speaker from the battery life to the design was kept identical. So if you already have a UE Roll, there really isn't a need to upgrade, but if you don't have one yet, maybe this will convince you to go out and get one. Every month we review a couple of cool products, but the best of May has to go to the Libertone Zip wireless speaker. The Libertone Zip is a wireless speaker letting you play music via Bluetooth or over Wi-Fi. It has a fabric covering that you can unzip, hence the name, and swap out for any of the other colors that Libertone sells. If you download the app, you can do way more with the speaker, including listen to FM radio, which isn't something you see too often nowadays. Of course, like any product, there were some kinks with the speaker, but one thing that doesn't need fixing is the sound. The speaker's sound quality really impressed us, so if that's what you care most about, definitely give it a shot. If you're looking for a pair of wireless headphones, you can always go with some on-ears. And at less than $100, the Skullcandy Grind Wireless are this month's bang for your buck pick. Let's be honest, Skullcandy isn't the name you usually think of when it comes to amazing audio products. And even though calling the Grind Wireless amazing might be a bit of a stretch, they're still pretty damn good. The biggest problem I had with them was the 12-hour battery life, but besides that, they have a really strong connection, decent sound, and a really nice design. You can pick up a pair for about 80 bucks, which isn't exactly cheap, but when you take into account what you're getting, it's not too bad. There are plenty of other companies that would charge twice that for the same product. The internet is a big place, and there's tons of information out there. So we gathered up as much information as we could about some of the best audio products, and made a couple best lists. This month we're recommending the best Bluetooth speakers you can get for under $100. If you want a Bluetooth speaker but aren't into spending hundreds of dollars on something like the Libertone Zip, this list might be for you. We've taken some of the best speakers we could find for under a Benjamin and put them all on one page, so make sure to give it a look if that's what you're interested in. Alright, time to announce the winner of last month's giveaway. If you live in the United States and your name is Kyle S, congratulations, you just won a free pair of Jaybird X2s. If your name isn't Kyle S, don't worry, because we're doing another giveaway. 
This month, we're giving away the UE Boom 2. So if you're looking for a waterproof speaker to get your summer started right, head down to the description and enter the giveaway. As always, it's international, so good luck everyone. And that's pretty much everything that happened this past month in the world of audio. Thanks for watching. Good luck to everyone entering the giveaway, and if you know anyone who wants a UE Boom 2, make sure to show them this video. As always, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and sign up to our monthly newsletter so you can stay up to date with all the news, reviews, and audio news here at SoundGuys. Links to all of that down there in the description. I'm Adam Molina. I'll see you later.